In the endless reaches of the universe, there once existed a planet known as Krypton, a planet that burned like a green star in the distant heavens. There, civilization was far advanced and had brought forth a race of supermen whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. But there came a day when giant quakes threatened to destroy Krypton forever. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth just as Krypton exploded. The rocket ship sped through star-studded space, landing safely on Earth with its precious burden, Krypton's sole survivor. A passing motorist found the uninjured child and took it to an orphanage. As the years went by and the child grew to maturity, he found himself possessed of amazing physical powers. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. He able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. The infant of Krypton is now the man of steel. Superman! To best be in a position to use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for truth and justice, Superman has assumed the disguise of Clark Kent mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. Kent, I want to see you. Just received another threatening note. Okay, Mr. White. Lois, another note from the mad scientist. Coming in, Chief. Well, listen to this warning. He plans to strike tonight. Beware, you fools. My electrophanasia ray strikes tonight at 12. Total destruction will come to those who laughed at me and failed to heed my warnings. Beware, I strike at midnight. This nut may prove dangerous. Kent, you help Lois follow up her lead. She may have an angle on this thing. Yes, sir. But, Chief, I'd like the chance to crack the story on my own. Oh, no. no. Thanks, Chief. But, Lois... Chief, don't you think that's a dangerous mission?
is that for a story, Miss Lane? <laughs> This looks like a job for Superman. Thanks to Superman.
faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Empowered with X-ray vision, possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Lois, what are you doing here? Oh, just getting the woman's angle on this story. The mechanical monster! Look out! this in. Yes, I'll give you the details later, Chief. All right, Lois. Let Lois! for Superman.
story this is going to make. The jewels. What have you done with the jewels? You'll read about it in tomorrow's paper. Are you going to tell me what happened to those jewels? <laughs> She's doomed. That's a wonderful story, Lois. Thanks, Clark. But I owe it all to Superman. a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman, possessed
possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. you, Lois, but I have another story to cover. Oh, that's all right, Clark. I'll see you in the office. for Superman.
Superman turns up just when you need him. I didn't even get a chance to thank him. than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Penetrating deep into the frozen wastes of the great Arctic plains, an archaeological expedition searching for prehistoric fossils makes an amazing discovery. A huge monster, as lifelike in appearance as when it roamed the Earth millions of years ago in the Mesozoic Age, is found frozen in the ice in a state of perfect preservation. Constantly handicapped by the hazardous sub-zero elements, the scientists and their band of tireless workers succeed in removing the mammoth creature from the frozen pit. The ice-encased monster is loaded into the hold of a huge freighter equipped with a special refrigeration plant and brought to this country. Here, in a specially constructed wing of the Museum of Natural Science, this awe-inspiring creature is displayed to the public for the first time. say that if the ice were permitted to thaw, there's a possibility the monster might still be alive? Thank you, Professor. Yes, Chief. Lois, there's a new angle on that frozen monster story. Get over to the museum and see what's doing. They've got him in a special refrigerator. Okay, Chief. Oh, Lois, want me to go over there with you? No, thanks. You'd probably faint if you saw the monster. You scare so easily. Maybe she's right, but Superman hasn't fainted yet. And produces the necessary refrigeration. The control board is downstairs. I'll show it. The entire plant is operated from this board. The thermometer must be watched constantly as any rise in temperature might prove dangerous. Boy, what a story!
rush the men down here. Attention, all cars. Proceed to fit the men at once. Chief, Lois is in the museum. Better get over there, Kent. Right. This looks like a job for Superman. I've got some work to do. Yes, sir. And it's the best story in years. Well, chance. Getting that monster story, Lois. Thanks, but where were you? Me? Oh, I must have fainted. than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leave tall buildings with a single pound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton. The man of steel. Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Give me 
a follow-up on this bullet car story. Stop on. Attention. The destruction of your police station today was only a small demonstration of our power. Unless your mayor turns over the entire funds of the city treasury, power plants, firehouses, and all municipal buildings will be next. Take heed. This is your last warning. What are the authorities going to do about this, Mr. Mayor? We won't be intimidated by criminal threats. Law and order must and will prevail. <laughs> This looks like a job for Superman.
another great scoop for you. It was easy. Thanks to Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton. The man of steel. Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. What do you think of the professor's show now? I still think it's pretty dangerous business. Hope nothing goes wrong. that the safety of the public is of special import to you. Perhaps almost as important to you as my ambitions are to me. But you request that I give up my experiments, experiments which are the combination of 30 years of dreaming and planning is impossible. Tonight, those dreams will become real. The Comet of Falcon will be my toy. Under my control, it will be brought to within a mile of us. Then, after a close examination, I'll send it back again into space. Your tampering with nature endangers thousands of lives. Yes, and even at the possible cost of those lives, I shall continue my experiment. I warn you, Professor, we're prepared to stop you. And I warn you, sir, any interference may prove disastrous. Stop! City editor. Look, Chief, the panic's on. The thing's gone haywire. <coughs> Lois. Lois, what happened? Lois.
the control. pretty wonderful yourself. Oh, how did you get here? <laughs> Thanks to Superman. than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. say Manhattan rightfully belongs to my people. Possibly, but just what do you expect us to do about it? You have a newspaper? Publish the truth. Have the island vacated immediately. It's fantastic. Why, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous? Maybe modern science will make you think differently. <laughs> I've never heard anything so absurd. You know, from the look in his eyes, I'd almost believe he was in earnest. No, he's just a harmless crank. Miss Lane, you wouldn't want to miss this story, I'm sure.
precautionary measure. ready for the greatest story of your career. Come on, Kent. Let's get out of here. like a job for Superman. Still down there. the old island looks just as good as ever. That's right, Claude. Thanks to Superman.
than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to soar higher than any plane. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. On this peaceful island, crowned by the great volcano Mount Mauna Kea, occurred the mightiest eruption that ever shook the earth, burying the beautiful city beneath it in molten lava and creating destructive tidal waves that raced around the world. For 300 years, this mighty volcano lay dormant. A new and more beautiful city sprang up at its base. But now, after centuries of inactivity, slight tremors are being felt. At the Bureau of Meteorology, a group of scientists watchfully check delicate instruments to determine the seriousness of this renewed activity. you to send me some real stories. Now here are your steamship tickets and here are your press passes. You'll need these down there. Goodbye, good luck, and for Pete's sake, see if you two can work together for a change. Right, Chief. So long. Say, Lois, do you have my press pass? What makes you think I've got it? Sorry, sir, but you'll have to get one down at headquarters. Thanks. Uh, you go on ahead, Lois, and I'll join you later. Now, what did I do with that? Poor Clark. Too bad he lost his pass. <laughs> we can expect things to start popping at any time. In order to save the city, we've decided to blast the higher rim of the crater, thereby diverting the flow of lava away from the city and into the ocean below. Is the chief in? I'd like to see him about a press pass. He'll be back shortly. Won't you have a seat? Thanks.
How's the story coming, Lois? Oh, fine, Clark. Too bad you weren't in on it. Maybe I would have been if I hadn't lost my bag. than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent.
that's her story. And luckily, she lived to write it. Thanks to Superman. This stabilizer is one of the most effective yet devised, representing an investment in years. How'd you like to be making the test flight in this, Lois? Hmm, maybe I will. <laughs> Fine, Jan. Everyone off, please. Everyone off. Come on, Lois. That's us.
nothing will interfere with voyage to Tokyo. All pilots, giant bomber being stolen. Take off immediately. <laughs> well placed bomb will stop pursuit. Looks like a job for Superman. this plane, Lois. I'd feel much safer if Superman were here. <laughs>
Gilbert. It's about time you showed up. Come on, come on, hand it over. Okay, boss. Here it is. This is a swell racket, boss. And the Superman outfit, it works like a charm. <laughs> Gee, boss, it was only a fin. Next time, it'll be a Mickey fin. Grammy turns full. Well, that's ridiculous. It couldn't be Superman. What do you make of it, Clark? Hey, you two. The editor wants you to cover the opera tonight. And don't forget, it's formal. Good. Now I can wear my new evening gown. Did you enjoy the opera? What's the matter, stupid? Did you lose your tongue? Don't stand there like a dummy. Give me the jewels. Are you trying to double-cross me? Why, you... Hey, boss, that's Mr. Superman. I uh, didn't expect to see you here.
next time you play Superman. Bright eyes. Yeah, I'll get you down. Uh, yes, I've been dreaming I was Superman. Hmm. Fine Superman you'd make. Well, I can dream, can I? Yes, Lois? Oh, nothing. Just a silly hunch that maybe Superman might be over here. Quiet! Do not talk! Shanasta! This sabotage must stop at once! Konetawa! Okay. 
closely in the wake of a series of baffling crimes, the body of an elderly man has just been found in the marsh flats outside the city. He has been identified as the watchman at the Metropolis Munitions Plant. There's a story, or I'm no reporter. He is believed to be the victim of an organized ring of saboteurs. More news later. Oh, sounds like there might be a story at the plant, Lois. Lois? Me name is Lois, not Lois. Gee whiz, everybody in Twipolates me name wrong. It's Lois. L-O-U-I-S. Lois. Er, uh, uh, Louise. Er, uh, Lucy. Now I'm so mixed up, I don't know who I am. <laughs> Take your post in the main shop. Be on the alert. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, pardon me. That was a good job you did on the watchman last night. Now, uh, how about that dynamite charge under the shops? It's wired to the switch on the plant floor below. But the new watchman pulls that switch tonight, the whole place... Shh. Miss Lane, 
Miss Lane, are you all right? Superman. They're about to blow up the plant. Hardy, throw that switch. Dr. Jordan, yet you admit these fingerprints are yours. Yes, but, but you don't... That's all. Can't speaking. Hello, Daily Planet. This is Dr. Wilson of the Egyptian Museum. I've just uncovered something that may free Miss Hogan. Yes, Doctor. Uh, I, I've been feeling much better lately, but I'll be right over. I'll see you later, Lois. Doctor's orders. Doctor, my eye. Dr. Jordan was the world's foremost student of hieroglyphics. Most of our priceless specimens were brought back by him, even the mummy of King Tush. Among his possessions, I uncover this ancient Egyptian tablet and find it to be a secret curse of the tomb of King Tush. He who disturbs the eternal sleep of King Tush shall perish. This tablet may well be Miss Hogan's passport to freedom. Come with me, please.
3,000 years ago, the valley of the Upper Nile was ruled by an old and powerful king. He had been warring with the Lower Nile for many years, and just before the old king died, he called his son to him, the young boy of 12. He commanded his giant guards to swear an oath of eternal allegiance to the boy prince to guard him constantly in this world and the next. Shortly after, the old king died. The youth of 12 now ruled the kingdom of 10 million people. But the boy was not fashioned for such responsibility, and being of a sickly nature, soon became ill himself. Never was a person attended more faithfully than this youth. Yet he withered away and soon died. True to their oath of allegiance, each of the royal gods drank poison so that they might continue to protect the spirit of their young king in the Valley of the Dead. Here in these catacombs, Dr. Jordan has reconstructed the burial vault exactly as he first discovered it in one of the pyramids. Working for years in absolute and frenzied secrecy, he finally duplicated an ancient mystic formula, which he called the fluid of life. Just before he was found dead, Dr. Jordan had inoculated each of the mummies of the giant guards. They were supposed to return to life, but somehow the test failed. Dr. Jordan was found here at the feet of King Tush. The rest you know. But what you don't know, Mr. Kent, and what I am equally certain of, is that Dr. Jordan violated the ancient warning by attempting to open the coffin of King Tush. A poisonous needle. That's how Dr. Jordan was killed. Yes, and Miss Hogan is a free woman. Superman! 
possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. of this fool masquerade. I shall be glad when I'm finished with my work here. Uh, Capitaine, the submarine fleet commander is impatient for news of the American convoy. He will be advised of his location shortly. To your post. By still. <laughs> Miss Lane. Yes? Here. Take these. Important papers. Destroy them. Ah, oh, American stubbornness. I give you just ten minutes to remember what you did with those papers or I will be forced to brighten your memory with fire. So! So what? Das ist genug!
submarines was destroyed by American dive bombers, affording the troop ships a safe crossing. Oh, the mighty mission. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition and with all... discovered what are now known as the Henderson Caverns. More than 40 years ago, he mysteriously disappeared while exploring them further. Recently, I found these maps and charts he left, suggesting there still greater wonders and mysteries lay beyond in this vast underground world. Now, if your paper will help finance the expedition, I will take Miss Lane and Mr. Kent with me and guarantee the Daily Planet exclusive rights to the story. Sounds like a great story, Chief. I'd love to go. Well, let me see. All right, it's a deal. Thanks, Mr. White. We can leave immediately. Careful now. Those are explosives for the blasting we'll have to do. We're shoving off, Kent. Meet you in the Blue Grotto. So long, Clark. See you later, Lois.
job for Superman. story, Lois. But no one would ever believe it. Remarkable physical strength, Superman fight. 
fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. You can't pick your assignments. Hurry over and cover that consumer's meeting. But, Chief... But nothing. That's final. was a close call. I've got to get to police headquarters immediately. What? You're damnlish and sharp, Skipper. I send you out to bring back that woman. And what happens? You let her get away and bring me this fool. She must not get to the airport. She must be stopped. They are probably the largest and most ruthless gang of saboteurs in this country. I know. For six months, they thought I was one of them. This briefcase contains a list of their names, together with their diabolical plans of destruction. They will stop at nothing to recover these records. I must get them through to Washington. Mm, I understand. I'll see that you have an escort to the airport. This way, quick! on the bridge. But the place is surrounded by company. Hello? Edwidge? Hello? Hello? Soon done about that. Something went wrong. We've got to get those records. Thank <laughs> you. 
Der Narr ist verrückt geworden. Zum Teufel! Was sollen wir tun? Schmeißt die Wände ein! <lacht> 